Uppercut, uppercut. Sonic Boom! So this is the Defender Mark 1. And I had a little bit of gold lying around. And I bought it. Uh, there was a big box with all the Defenders in it. But to be honest, this was the one that I've been wanting for ages. It's an auto-loading Centurion. And that's good enough for me. Uh, that's kind of what I want. An auto loading centurion is a very nice thing. And it's the playstyle that I've really rolled a lot in my Blitz years. And 701 was always one of my favorite tanks. Uh, my sneaky, guilty pleasure for the longest time was the Carnarvon uh, as a tier 8 heavy tank. And it's no surprise then that I'm running this Defender. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the Borsig says hello. Oh, there's another Defender Mark one. Let's have a look at the turret on him. It's pretty red. It's, it's a red turret. GSOR's uh, love and light. Go for a little reload. And there's a Carnarvon Defender. Well, look at that. Talk about the naming calls. Uh, there's one of those Defenders. And I'm going to run back this way because I believe that's enough tanks over there. Need to get stuck into these boys and girls. And this is a perfect opportunity to showcase what this tank does best. Basically, you want to get a spot where you can dump four and then back the hell off. Defender Mark 1 should be taken care of. The old adage for clippers remains equally true with the Defender Mark 1. The Defender Mark 1 is the clipper. That means you can take ground, but you can't really hold ground. They're wonderful for uh, doing the damages. They're not so great for what comes after. So, if you're on a spot and you don't have clear fields of fire and you think people are going to push back against you, it's generally a good idea with the Defender to just uh, give it a flick. We didn't even scratch them. Penetration. Enemy armor is damaged. We've damaged them. 1826, not a bad effort. And then we back it off and completely reload again. This is a tank, like I said, that I've really wanted for an awfully long time. The reason for that is anything with gun depression and a strong turret is a capable credit farmer and a wonderful tank to have in your garage. Anything with gun depression, a strong turret, and also an auto loader is very rare indeed there are not a lot of vehicles that you can pick up that have that as a pre-course meal however that's exactly what you get with the defender mark one and it makes life very very easy now you can still stuff up still position poorly do all those things but at the end of the day so long as you don't go absolutely crazy, you can find yourself 2k damage in a tier 8 game and make some credits. That's what we're here to do. So that was the first game, and it really did perform exactly as we expected. About 2k, and how do we go credit-wise? 60,000 credits. Not a lot of the damage that we did was from our own spotting, which is kind of weird for a medium. But that's why we didn't make such a great big pile of cash. And there's an upwards. I think we're going to be doing a stream tomorrow on the tank channel. So I probably won't drop this video till after the stream. But I've also got some uh, replays coming up from uh, Nightfox, Big Colin Herring, uh, and Silent Wraith. So keep your eyes peeled. There's going to be some videos dropping if you want to do subscriber replays, it's bushcagaming at gmail.com. Let's see how we go with game number two. Uh, Mr. Ouija just chucked me. Um, I'm going to turn off the old Discord chat there. It's your eight game. It's... 
actually better mobility wise than I thought it would be. And I have played this tank before, but not for an awfully, awfully long time. I played it when it first came out, just because I had the press account and I was like, eh, I wonder what this is. I mean, it's not good mobility wise, don't get me wrong. I'm not going out on a limb and pretending. What have they got as a medium? A Leo. Right. We don't have any cover here, but we're going to be a little bit aggressive. Oh god, I hope they find something in town soon, because... There he is. We've damaged them. It's a high roll, that's nice. That's uh, four hits, 800 damage. It's probably better than we deserve. Be very careful here. That Leo does not have a TD next to him. TD's in town, you can see on the mini map. The Leo, and I'm pretty. Oh man, he hasn't left. That one didn't go through. Now we're on the flank. Uh, we've got a full reload coming. I'm probably going to move up to the end of the bridge here because I want to stay in contact. I don't want to get stuck out here without targets. WZ is facing which direction? That's pretty important. Oh, we're missing a couple there. But gee, it'd be nice to clear that WZ. one in. Oh, that's very good news. There is someone else unaccounted for here. I don't know where they are. Samoa? Arupa, Jamaica. Do I want to take it to Bermuda? Pushing around to the IS-5, leaving that Samoa Grenadier exactly where he is. Critical hit. Fair enough. Enemy armor is hit. Crack hit. Enemy armor is damaged. Keep on rolling. Three tanks left. IS-5 down. We'll try and get some shots across on the Somwa. Son, son, la I can sit up near this bridge, then I can run away underneath it. We've damaged them. We didn't penetrate their armor. We've damaged them. That's another clip. And uh, 2300 good ones. The team's going to finish him off. Long reload on the entry. And that's fair enough because four, four, low, four, four shot auto loaders at this tier, that's a lot. I mean, that's an awful lot to be dealing with. Now, most of that damage was done by us up front in, uh, with our own spotting. So we should make some more cash. 7,000. So maybe it's not so great in terms of credit production. Something to bear out, but it uh, it does it does drive nicely. Let's have a look at the stats. So you've got a shell reload time of two seconds. Um, that's your infra shell reload time. Typical scent gun, 226 millimeter. Uh, it's a 20 pounder gun type C, 226 millimeters of AP pen. That's really good AP pen. Your APCR only goes up to 258, but I mean, you're a medium. You shouldn't have more than 260 millimeters of pen at tier 8 with four shots. Uh, 190 alpha on your AP shots, which is pretty good. Uh, when you're dumping four of them, that's nearly 800. Uh, and 10 degrees, a full 10 degrees of gun depression. The mobility, your top speed, only 46 kilometers an hour, but you've got a fairly chunky engine and you can get up there quickly mid mid-range traverse and uh acceleration and such as well but i mean only 2000 damage a minute that's not your worry as an auto loader it's situating yourself to dump poor would be a great tank to run in platoon um maybe as the hold medium if you've got two guys running and rumbling but yeah really enjoying it thus far certainly seems to be doing the business Out 
you have to hear. Let's get I've got one medium. Is uh, Centurion. A dingo. Five and one. It's me and a Brask. The action next morpho is the sink gone inside rail i don't think so i think it's out here sense over there i've got three tds none of them are spotted I have more than a sneaking suspicion that they're in the TD slots here, but let's find out. Are they all in spawn? Here's an Emil. Will reload before me. We're losing heavies over there, so it's a bit of a worry. Come on, Barras. Don't miss. Don't miss. Nice, nice, nice. I'll take all. Starting to wind up this corner, but there's some nasty tanks out here. Good job, Barask. This Barask has been really nice. It's just a really, really productive tank. And you saw the problem with the 5 and 1 there. Autoloaders are terrible at holding, but they're really good at dealing with people that push up on low hit point pools or mid range hit point pools. So we got some uh, assisted damage there as well as doing our own damage. 70,000 credits. I got a duck from renamed user Darth. ML1. Let's give him a fist bump. It always confuses me. So the gun itself is reasonably accurate. 0 0.30. Well, that's really accurate, but um, what I'm saying when I say reasonably is you'll see if we sent 5 and 1's gun, I think that's under 3. Yeah, 0 0.299. So, yeah, be that as it may. 5 and 1 is better in sustain. It's much better in sustain. Uh, you can get up to very mid 2K sustain damage with the 5 and 1. And it's it's very intimidating. But if you can play this tank correctly, you'll have a good time. Anyway, we'll have one more game here and uh, probably give it a rest. Uh, Got to go and make some lunch for the team. Let's see how we're all doing. Dark in city, night is wide. Sleep in the subway, dirt is a fire. Woman, woman, give me a sign. Sleep in the first time. Good, good, good. Should be spotted there. Should be cool. That's one. No one else coming? No one else is coming. Uh, I don't know what our heavy tanks are doing, but yeah, okay. Gonna go for a full reload there while the heavy tanks decide what they want to do with life, because 
But K2 is very much on his own. And he's just gone straight through. So I'm going to let him be. Uh, that T77... That's six. You can get shots into this Leo. We've damaged them. We've damaged them. Reload here again. I'm going to leave them for the turtle and get turned around here for the guys who are going to be coming through the middle. This is where the uh, real problem is going to be. Oh god, they took a lot of damage clearing that guy. That was the guy. That was the guy to clear. Absolutely the guy to clear. And now we're going to try and move a little bit to the left here. These guys. One of the nice things about running an autoloader is you run uh, the engine boost instead of the adrenaline rush. Which means you can't really boost your adrenaline and uh, do more of the damages. But you are capable of being a little more mobile to where Fred goes to That's us. That's us for the game, baby. Try and ram one. See how we go. Got a little bit of extra damage. That's all we got. It's a great tank. Really lovely tank. Great. Easy to drive. Does exactly what's written on the box. And uh, I'm really stoked it came back on sale. It's one of the tanks that I've wanted to get for a long, long time. Um, Yeah. The Defender Mark 1. Well worth a look. Uh, I'll catch you real soon. I'll probably see you tomorrow in the stream, which you'll be watching before you watch this video the day after. Wow, wow, amigos. What do you think of the new goggles? Two thumbs up from this guy. See you later.